get back outside to John Elliott. He is checking out the gorgeous cherry blossoms in Branch Brook Park in New Jersey this morning. Hey, John. Five minutes ago, I met Barbara Hale, and she oh. said, I, Hall, yeah. hey, see, I said five minutes ago, you're normally sitting in front of the TV on Saturday morning, That's right? That's right, watching CBS News. Watching How did you, you know we home? were going to be here? Yesterday morning, you were on TV, and you said, I'm going to be in Branchbrook Park tomorrow morning. So I said, I'm going. How long have you been coming here to Branchbrook Park? I used to live across the street, so I've been coming for like 40 years. Oh, is it beautiful? It's gorgeous, and they've done a great job replanting and bringing it up so it's all right great. I know I'm not supposed to do this but write this down Barbara Hall dot com Barbara has written 30 books go buy some of her books I have not read any of them but Barbara thank you and thank well, you for watching the websites our nature matters dot net our nature matters dot net see I'm not supposed to do that but I'm going to I did it. thank you <laughs> and this this is another one this is doggy road tripping yep. on Instagram um, uh, what do you guys do I love the concept this is Lily and Buckley. We're from Hoboken, New Jersey. We're friends from Hoboken, and we go on uh, weekly weekend road trips all over the tri-state area with our dogs. And you rate them for dogs. Yes, and we right do we, go, we rate them for dogs, and we um, especially appreciate all the, the treats and how friendly the tri-state area has become for dogs. How about Branchbrook Park? They're amazing. The, the best part. The best park for dogs. Hey -o! Now, <laughs> Thank you so we much. Go, come on down, Vince. I gotta if this guy will do it. What's his name? Buckley. Buckley. Buckley, you are just beautiful. Can you look right in the camera or can you just slobber on the microphone? Oh my gosh. Buckley is a beautiful Buckley weighs as much as I do. <laughs> oh. All right. So get your dog out and let's go for a walk. Okay, temperature wise, it's been all over the place. In the city, it looks pretty right now, old oh, Buckley. In the city, we've got more sun. Thank you guys. And uh, numbers are on the way up. 41 right now, wind out of the northeast at six. And wind chill was an issue earlier this morning. 80 was the high Thursday, 57 yesterday. Thursday with 22 degrees above. Yesterday, a degree below, and it's going to be even cooler this afternoon. So it's just more of the same. We gradually warm up, though, as we work our way through the weekend. And it is going to be kind of a split decision. There'll be more sun for... Uh well, here in, in, in Newark and Belleville, also into the Hudson Valley, more clouds around Middlesex County. By the way, it was Rutgers Community Church. That was the uh, group that we had off the top of the show. I just remembered that. And then we all warm up over the next few days. Stays dry. We may not see rain until the end of next weekend. So we've got some great weather to look forward to. And we are going to see warmer conditions gradually. See what I mean? Monmouth Ocean, you've got more clouds. Expand the view. Going to be messy for the mass. But we are going to see this big ridge of high pressure take over. That's underway right now, today. And then it just sticks around. Dry, dry, dry. Going to keep the pollen count up there. And we're going to be watching, always vigilant about the risk of fires, but mindful of that. But we're going to enjoy it. 53 overnight tonight, 39 in the city. Far cooler, though, around the area. We do even have a freeze warning for parts of the area. Sensitive vegetation has to be taken care of and then over the next few days we just continue to warm up it gets better and better and better it doesn't get any better though than Joe D Joe D Vincenzo is the county executive uh, how many how many cherry blossoms how many trees were in Branch Brook Park when you took over there in 2005 there were 700 today how many now today we have 5300 more than Washington more than Georgia and we have 22 different varieties of them too which makes us number one on the East Coast. How important is Branch Brook Park to Essex County and the area? This is my park. This is where I grew up and stuff, where I enjoyed. The park didn't look like this way when I was uh, growing up, but now it looks absolutely beautiful. The park means everything, especially to the homeowners. Thank God this park and all our parks in Essex County, when COVID hit, people had an outlet. Yeah. People were able to enjoy the park and get out because nobody knew what was going to happen. I got to tell you, it is amazing. And people from all all over the state and outside of the state. Uh, today is all kinds of activities. What's it wraps up though next weekend? What's next weekend? Next weekend, next Saturday, starting at nine o'clock, we have family day and we're gonna have a fun run for the young kids. And then on Sunday, of course, there's our festival that we have and it's gonna be in the middle division over here. Uh, we changed places this year because we're building a brand new cherry.
cherry blossom welcome center so we're going to move it in the middle of the park okay so i want everybody to come out and enjoy we'll get over in the next three weeks we had over a hundred thousand people that will visit this particular park wow because of your hard work, Joe. Thank well, you. And I know. Teams, right? Yes. And we're all oh, speaking team. of the team. We're going to say team. how you can join the team. We're going to talk about the Branch Brook Park Alliance. That's in our next half hour. Thank you for interrupting a holiday thank weekend. You. God bless. Thank you, John. And uh, Andrea will have more and more ways you can connect with the park in our next half hour. Right now, though, we'll send it right back to you in the studio. So interesting because we always hear that we have to go to Washington D.C. to to see the cherry blossoms. I had no idea they had more. In Newark, it's a much shorter drive. We have a lot more in Newark. <laughs> Catch the fever. All right, we'll check back in with you from now until 11. Thank you so much, John.